Westbury House. Infamous within the UK Yerbexen community, this former mansion care home shut down in 2016 after being rated inadequate by the Care Quality Commission. When I first visited this care home in 2018, it was pristine. Sadly, the wrong kinds of people discovered this house, and now the former care home has fallen into a state of decay through vandalism, theft, and nature slowly taking over. In this video, I'll use photos and video taken in 2018 and compare them with what currently stands today. This place is absolutely fucked now. Fucking hell. Bro, those windows haven't been smashed yet. And when I came back in 2018, that cabinet was full of files, personal documents. And I guess now, seeing as they've removed them, they're all in the hallway. The foyer. Oh my god! Such a classic. Here you can see all the paperwork uh, um, has personal documentation on. And uh, the owner of the house got in trouble because she didn't remove all this. And apparently she was meant to have removed everything. As you can see, literally everything has been taken from every room and just chucked into here. Huh. Quite sad, really. See under here there's meant to be a really nice uh, mosaic like that. And you can just kind of see it underneath all that shit. But yeah, no one cares really either. Nobody cares.
So here we are back in 2018. 2020. It's a photo of me and my friends back in 2018, standing up this mirror. You can see how disgusting the walls are now. So that's what natural decay and vandalism can do. Thievery. It's not good. But this is what happens to buildings when they're left alone and no one takes care of them. This floor is so spongy now. Ah, oh, I know where we are. We've been before and after here. Fucking gimbal. Pretty bad idea, isn't it? I'm so glad I wore a respirator. I think I'll go freehand for a minute because my uh, gimbal's a bit awkward to do certain shots with. So. Oh, that's always sad, really, seeing all these teddy bears left alone. Because once they were loved by someone, and now they're just left to rot, like the rest of the house. Just be careful, because someone might see my light. That's not very good, is it? You can just see from the ceiling as well, which is how much the rain's getting through. Because everything's on the floor, and bloody hell. Ooh. And he said, wow, then. I like saying wow in my videos. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Depressing, really. Do not demolish Westbury. Well, I think it's had its time. Probably not the best idea to be coming in here on my own, but I want to get this video sorted. So, um, yeah. Bit risky, but you only live once, don't you? I'll also make the most of it, that's my motto. Oh, look at that. Someone's possessions just left to rot and decay. All the nice shirts. Sandwich pickle up there as well, sardines. Disgusting mold and suspicious liquids. Don't want to touch that, really. Oh, oh it's fucking locked. Oh, I think we need to go the other way then. The spooky way. Yes. Christmas tree down there, or what? Oh, yeah, it is. What the fuck was that? Yeah. 
Wow. All slang in that. Shit in hell. It's also a hell of an American horror story, this. Whew. You can see why people come in here at night, it's quite creepy. You can hear all these sounds and bashes and bangs. And you said, what the hell there? So you've got to be wary. Very, very wary. Check my phone again, because I don't know if I've got any photos from 2018 here. Woo-wee! Woo-wee! The floor is actually lifting up now. <sighs> Shitting hell. Here's another room I took a photo of back in 2018. So I'll just try and get my phone. Aha, here it is. There you go. 2018. 2020. Just a massive puddle. Oh my god! Yes, I remember this room very well actually. <clears throat> I'll try and insert a video. I got off this room in 2018 when the um, drip started. But I'm not sure it will um, work with my other footage. So, uh, I can't actually find the photo on my phone. So I don't think I uploaded it to my phone. But I definitely got pictures of this or video footage from 2018. Just a little shot, and hopefully I can roughly remember where I stood when I took the photo in this room two years ago. It is so sad when places like this just go to ruin because you could have sold this and then turned it into apartments for people, but no, things never work out that way, and it's really crap, really crap to see. Well, I did find a photo of this corridor, yep, yeah, this one, and uh, I think this is the biggest now and then I can record. So, uh, I think we're standing roughly about here. Yep, right here. Get on focus. Wow, that's crazy. I'm really glad I got these photos and documentation from 2018. It does show when, uh, People come in here and um, trespass, you know, naughty naughty, shouldn't trespass at all, should you? So, um, people trespass and then the word gets out on the internet like, oh look at this massive abandoned care home. Then every fuck is like, ooh, I'm gonna go there. And the word gets out. And then the wrong kind of people come. And then they strip all the lighting out, all the copper wiring. And that leads to um, water coming in through the roof. And as you can see there, the roof starts falling in. And then the water gets through the floors. And then windows are smashed open. And they're left open. 
and then nature slowly reclaims so You can definitely see how old the architecture is as well of this building. So, uh, I don't think this building is actually listed. I think there's a building next door, which is called the Ice House or something, which is listed. But I don't think this building in itself is actually listed, so. Huh. Right. Let's go to the basement then, shall we? I think. Well, this is the bit the door I was trying to open earlier. Bloody yeah. Uh, cool. Someone's had a go of that, just realised. Cut everything out of it. Yeah, you can see all the brass piping's gone. Some people are. Ooh. Ooh. Doesn't work, does it? No. See, bean bags being murdered. It's got to everywhere. That's a creepy corridor. Just a bit. Um, has anybody been squatting here? Okay. So. Since it closed, so that's. Whew, I'm gonna get off this bit. This one of the only untouched bits. It's like when you go to a really cheap um, hotel, the bathroom's not great, but it's usable. That's about the same condition. That's very surprising for a place like this. Oh shit. Smashing everything with my feet. There's just loads of possessions left there. I think people at one point were squatting here. So um, I'm not sure the ones are squatting here now, just the condition. You definitely pick up some kind of lung disease, but it does make you wonder really. Right, I left the battery at home and I've only got 38%. So I'm an idiot. <clears throat> so I need to be as quick as I can, but hopefully still recording decently. Aha! Uh -huh. There's another room I took off before and after. What a waste! All those bits have been donated to other care homes or to the NHS, I guess. But nope. Too far gone now. Far too far gone. <sighs> spooky. Spooky, spooky, spooky. See how dark this place is without a light. Ooh. Shit's in hell, it chipped over.
So when I came back in 2018, this bit was pretty ruined anyway. So I think this is where people used to come through. But, um, yeah, surprising how clean some of the rooms are, in a sense, that they're not actually that damaged. It was just a room that I've looked at. Twenty eighteen, twenty twenty. Got focuses. That's so eerie just with the light, the natural daylight coming through there. I think I've got a photo of this wall. It's always sad as well seeing um, photos left behind. I wonder what they got up to afterwards or just before. And what they're doing now, in fact. This is a very weird room. This is like an office bit. I think this will be the last bit I do before I head back out. Whoa. Ew, ew, ew. How'd you get to the basement? Thanks for through here. Oh my god, I got the tiles. There's the old kitchen area. Old storage. Lots of uh, play balls, you know, those rubber balls. That when the kids play things. Yeah. I'll try to find my uh, before and after. Uh, nope, 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 nope. 
Oh, but yeah, was good. Alright. That was first one down here. Was it? No, it wasn't. It was on the other side. Okay. Right. Oh, for fuck's sake. What's over there? This? this actually leads to nowhere. So it's just some kind of game we're trying to find where it goes. And it does go somewhere, what the fuck? What the? Where the hell does that go then? Okay. Ow, fuck's sake. Fucking scratching my head on that. Oh, right. I think I'm nearly about done. Absolutely fucked. Little boiler room. Spooky, spooky. What are my thoughts on this building? Should it be saved or should it be demolished? Um, personally, I think it would be nice if it could be saved. I mean, they could gut the inside out and uh, keep the walls up and then rebuild the inside. But it might be nice just to maybe demolish the whole thing and return this back to nature because look at this lovely green field. It'd be nice to have more green belt space, wouldn't it? So, um, yeah. It's definitely an interesting building. It's all amazing history up until recently. But, um, yeah, I think it's definitely run its course. I think it's definitely time to close the chapter on this one.